Hello, all you beautiful people. Welcome to episode two of the Diz Insider Show. And uh, boy, is it good to be back again doing another episode two. This is our second episode two of all time. Yeah, we had to re-record because... Uh, oh, I um, I, to be fair, I was talking about the original episode Oh, two. yeah. But well, yeah. we had to record this because... Uh, well, re-record it because uh, I left all my kids' medication in here. My wife had to come get it, so it was a mess. So it just um, works out to re-record. Yeah. So... Um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah. We had mentioned that this is going to come out every week. It's not. It's going to be bi-weekly. Um, and it just gives us time to give good content. And then uh, I've also been blasting out TikToks, which have been doing or haven't. They haven't been doing so bad is what I should say. They've been doing OK, like our TikToks. Yeah, they've actually been yeah. really good. And I like what you're making with the TikToks, too. I'm just doing memes. Yeah, little memes. Those little are Disney good. Memes. Yeah, follow those us are on good. TikTok, which, to get that out of the way, follow us on social media, at yep. the Diz Insider, except for Instagram. you got to follow us at News from the Castle. Don't forget to check out the thedizinsider.com, where we have all the juicy news stories from the Walt Disney Company. Yep. And uh, check out the News from the Castle podcast, hosted by Dempsey Palat, mm -hmm. Jordan Simmons, and Amber Olkers. Olkers, yeah. We have to we forget that she's married now. Yeah. And I, has a has a has a we, and we, has a newborn baby. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yep. Again. Again. <laughs> yeah. Again. For the second. Yeah. We're just gonna thank her for ever or say congratulations every episode. There you go. Check out Walt's apartment and their plethora of hosts that they yeah. have so many that I can't just shout them all out. <laughs> yeah. But Sean's doing a great oh, job. Oh, they were at MouseCon over the weekend. Yeah, we gotta we gotta see how that goes. They're yeah. they're recording their episode tomorrow. So yeah, that'll be out by the time our show's out. So yeah. Uh, give them some love over uh, on this YouTube page. Yeah. That gives they're, you uh, they're, they are 70% of our videos. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> subscribe and hit that notification bell, as Derek always says. And mm -hmm. then you get all these cool videos as they come out. Yeah. Aside from that, is there any other house cleaning you want to do? Should, um, we, should we talk about really quick, talk about the the, the, the the little giveaway, or should we wait till the end of the show? Uh, we should announce the winner of the giveaway right now, and then we can oh. go into our first ad. Ooh, uh, the first one. Yeah. I like it. So last week we told you uh, in the comments to tell us your favorite Disney live action movie. Which a lot of you didn't do. You just decided to criticize us yeah. and call us middle-aged. I'm 30. Okay? Not middle-aged yet. How dare you? And we love Disney, so <laughs> we don't give a toot. We don't give a toot. We don't, we don't give a toot. toot. Um, we are going to get so sued by that guy. We love, like, we love we love what you do. We won't do it. <laughs> yeah, again. it's We're a so TikTok. Sorry. We're copying it. We are telling you straight up. Yeah. <laughs> so we love anyway, you. Anyway, yeah. Uh and this week's winner is Lauren DeWitt. Yes. Who uh, you know, has been a, a, a great follower of ours. I've seen mm -hmm. her come across all our socials. Um, you have won a mystery Funko Pop. We'll reach out to you to get your shipping details so we can get that out to you right away. Word. At the end of the show, we'll tell you how you can win uh, the next mystery surprise for this week's video. Yep. So stay tuned. But we have a sponsor this week. Read it out, baby. Oh, I love it. Have you heard of Boardwalk Times, Derek? I have. Oh, wonderful. They're great people. Yeah. They're a Disney news site just like us. Mm -hmm. But they're not enemies. They're friends. And we love Synergy. Yep. And the one thing they do Nicely have... Nicely done. Nicely put. Oh, thank you. The one thing they do have is an awesome merch store. Boom. Over at boardwalktimes.store. We have to get Zach to send us some stuff so we can rep it on the podcast. Zach, yeah. if you're watching, send us some send us some stuff. Us we'll, some we'll wear it. I'll, I'll talk to him Sunday when I see him at there the oh, uh, yeah. IAPA Expo, yeah. which is this week, uh, next week. Going a big Florida guy, huh? Yeah. So don't forget to enter a new era of fandom fashion and explore the greatest merch in the multiverse at Boardwalk Store. From theme parks to the worlds of movies and TV, grab merch that showcases your favorite fandom. Use Diz, the Diz Insider 10 for 10% off your purchase at checkout. It's right, right here. Right here. It's right here. You'll see it. Derek will put it in somewhere there. here. They have really cool merch, which you can see right here. Yep. Right here. Thank you. Do they have easy images for me to put up? I'll put them up right here. Yeah, yep. I'll find it. It's nothing. We'll fix it in post. Uh, post production. Yep. So again, don't forget to check out boardwalktimes.store. Enter the code the Diz Insider 10 at checkout for 10% off your purchase. And you're going to be repping some of the coolest material from Marvel, Star Wars, Disney, Pixar, the parks. 
All uh, of it. All of it. Every, everything. Or as Harrison Fo- or uh, uh, Han Solo would say. Yeah. It's true. And they are going to stay our sponsor uh, for a little. It. Yeah, yeah, that's true, too. Well, yeah, he died. Uh, in the in the movie, not in real life. You, you know what I mean. He's there, getting close there, huh? Oh, gosh. I saw Indiana, the new Indiana Jones. Yeah. It wasn't was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> it wasn't terrible. It was terrible. Uh, so, again, check them out. Grab some merch. Tell them the Diz Insider sent you. Yep. And uh, enjoy what they have until we decide to drop a store again. Also, let me give a quick shout out to uh, uh, JP, who I used to work with. He runs the Geek Insider. Um, he helped us uh, out with uh, some shout outs and, and all that good stuff, reposting our stories over on his massive account. Uh, so I just wanted to say thank you. Go check him out. He's a really cool dude, and he's a good friend of the Diz Insider. So go check him out uh, at the Geek Insider. All right, it's time to jump into the first topic. Last week was a juicy one. This yep. one's a juicy one. It's time for, and this name's going to change, the Disney <laughs> Gossip. <laughs> I need to create a theme song brought for it. Brought to you it. by E News. No, not brought, <laughs> brought to you, you by E News. News. Brought to you by Boardwalk, Imp- or Boardwalk Empire. Uh, oh, all right. Boardwalk Times. Are you excited for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Honestly, no. Oh, I knew it. No, I'm not. All right, and that's the Disney gossip. <laughs> There's just been so many poopers I, over the last couple years since I, Endgame ended. I disagree. Really? I do. It's, I mean, let, let, well, let, let, I guess that's a different no, let, discussion. Let, I, no, well, it, let's do it really quickly before we get into the, I think this is a good segue. Okay. Let's think about, about it like this. Black Widow, like it or don't like it? It's mid. That's not what I said. You either like it or you don't like it. I like it. Okay, I like it too. Shang Chi, Shang Chi, Shang Chi. Loved it. Loved it. We 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 loved, we, we, we loved it. it. We got to go see it early. No way home. Of course, it's my favorite MCU film to come out in okay. ever. Okay, this is where we're gonna differ, which is fine. Eternals. I like it. Oh, okay, I thought you. I never disliked it. I just don't like it as much as like as it's I in do. your top ten, right? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Definitely, definitely not. I don't even think it's in my top fifteen. Fair, but I like it. Def- that's a. It's a good tone. It's a. It's a nice. It's a fresh tone for the MCU. Okay. Which is why I liked it. Uh, very, very fair. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Mm, I like it. I'll I like, say I okay. like it. Thor: Love and Thunder. Thunder. Don't like Thor Love and Thunder. That that we can all agree on. She Hulk. Uh I liked She Hulk. I didn't I, I don't I don't I didn't. I liked She Hulk. I, I liked was, I liked certain aspects of She Hulk, but okay. as a show and whole Guardians of the Galaxy show and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Bing bing. Two black, thumbs up for me. Black Pan I was about to say Black, black Wakanda Widow. Forever. Yeah. You were about to say Black Adam, huh? No, I was gonna say Black Widow Wakanda <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Wrong. Yikes. Yeesh. I mean uh, she did play an Asian person. Black Panther so. Wakanda Forever. I actually <laughs> adored I love I lo- that was a and shock. That's also something that we can tie in. Tanak Huerta also got allegations, so we're probably not seeing his no more. Guys, uh, keep it in your pants. Stop hitting people. Stop <laughs> being bad people. Yeah. <laughs> How hard is it to not do that? Yeah. You know? Jesus. You're bigger. Stop t- stop hitting women. <laughs> it's, it's so easy. It's like stop touching women that oh. don't want to. Yes. Touch you back. Yeah. <laughs> weird. It's so weird. You did your mama never tell you to keep your hands to yourself? No. No. Just no. because you're in some big movies now means that you can do whatever the fuck you want. No. Harvey Weinstein's in prison. Danny Masterson's in prison. Don't go to prison. Stay out. Make more movies. Keep the continuity alive. That's what I'm more pissed about. It's the freaking continuity. Messing me all up. And you know. Yeah, I care deeply about continuity. That's about your thing. continuity. That's, your thing. That's my thing. I'm gonna get tattooed on my forehead. Last continuity. Ant Man and the Wasp. Quantum Mania. Oh, I didn't like it, but I also did not dislike it. I, well, I guess you're only giving me two options. Did not like it. If I'm get, if I'm there, I'm right. Th- I think I'm with you on that one. It looks like Spy Kids 3D. <laughs> it is Loki. Okay, what does Loki and Ant-Man have in common? A poor, poor fellow who has possibly made some very bad decisions. Jonathan Majors. 
All right, let's circle into this. Jo so this is the topic, Jonathan yep, Majors. Jonathan Majors. This is the episode title too. And also, uh, <laughs> for people that uh, went into our comments last week, no, we're, that would be amazing if we got Rachel Zegler on our show. But no, <laughs> the title funny. of the podcast will be whatever Disney gossip we're talking about. So, for example, if we talk about the SAG strikes next week, episode three, SAG strikes. We're not having. I know. I know a lot of other podcasts put like the actor's name that they're interviewing in there, but I guess I can see how it's misleading. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Sorry. Uh, Jonathan Majors did some bad things. Uh, apparently, he's... Uh, possible. Uh, possible. Until not, proven guilty, we still yeah. live in America, y'all. This is true. There, Things have come out uh, that Jonathan Majors um, abused his girlfriend, wife, significant other, whatever she is. I don't know what she is. Um, mm -hmm. Jonathan Majors' team essentially said, no, that's not true. We have proof to show that he's innocent. The uh, district attorney's like, no, no, no. Or the defense the defense team's like, no, 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 no. Uh, no, it's the district attorney. District attorney yeah, said, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. That's not 100% true. There's proof that she was. There's video from TMZ or photos from TMZ that came out where, oh, there's no injuries to her, which, okay, it's a blurry picture. I, And it's TMZ. Like, like we, like they're a respectable God, they're the website. Yeah. Mm, they're not that respectable to me. Exactly. No, they no, I, I agree. As sarcasm, which is hard to tell on a podcast. So, yes, TMZ yeah. is. They suck. Poo poo. Um, very, very much poo poo. Um, so that kind of just, as of now, Jonathan Major. To kind of fast forward, Jonathan Majors uh, has uh, a court date later this month. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if it's like the twentieth or something. It's in a couple weeks. Um, so until then, like the big question is, is what are they doing with Kang? There's been rumors and reports out there that they're going to go to doom. They're going to recast. They're going to Dr. Doom retool. for those who don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dr. Doom, not the awful doing the jo rock Johnson video game movie My fault. <laughs> or the video game. <laughs> yeah. Or the good video or game. Uh, the DC villain dooms day. Correct. Uh, <laughs> James Gunn, you going to do something there? Uh, anyways, <laughs> doom patrol. Yeah. Doom, That's something doom patrol. A lot of uh, doom. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, we're talking Dr. Doom. Dr. The, doom. The doom. Um, what do you do, Derek? What do you do? What do you what are you supposed to do with Jonathan it's, Majors? It's it's weird, right? So you have this the next Avengers movie is supposed to be completely centered, and a lot of these other upcoming uh Marvel movies and projects are going to touch a little bit on not only Secret Wars, but also King Dynasty, if that's still in development as of right now i guess we just really have to see what jonathan uh, what what happens vertically with uh with jonathan with, bleh, with jonathan majors but to me i think you go the route of kind of washing them out and you you redo it with doom or or another villain um but i think that the reason for king and say you recast him I just I don't know if that's going to linearly is that a word like linear yeah linearly yeah, no. linearly good. look at you using the dictionary <laughs> I know linearly work because it's associated with somebody and he's not guilty yet or innocent yet right and it, it could just defer people away from that character altogether right. um to me you completely. Just you, you let Loki lie where it lies. You let Ant-Man and the Wasp lie where it lies. And you kind of just rewrite it in a way to where there's a new villain and you call the next Avengers movie something different or you or you bring somebody out in a big way uh, with these next upcoming movies. I don't know. But um, we we really just have to see. And, I, and, and even if he's found not guilty, um, I don't think his career is going to recover I really don't now it, in this day and age um, when you go through something like that, it's really hard to come back and book those Creed movies and book those uh, Marvel movies right. and book all these big things. I mean, he just had his, uh, his most recent magazine uh, article or cover or something cut taken off the oh, shelves, magazine all that dreams, stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I don't drop I don't, by reps and uh -huh, drop yeah. by reps, drop by everything. That's not a good sign. It's though. it's not though. And it, you I mean you can play both sides. Like of course the prosecution 
wants to tell you that they have a lot of uh, proof. And then also the defense also wants to tell you that they have no proof. You, we really don't know until we hear these court hearings or we have somebody on the inside of these court hearings, you know, really breaking down the allegations, the right. the charges and, and the testimonies. So we really don't know until honestly later this month. So my opinion, you completely wash it out because not only are we never going to get Jonathan Majors back as King because I, it's just it's too far gone now even if he's innocent to me i don't think he's coming back uh you're still gonna have people that even if he is innocent you know there's still people that think oj simpson's innocent and i'm like no he killed two people right um oh and you still have those people right so yeah. it, it's it's really hard to sway one way or another so that was a little too long so go, go for it <laughs> i i see where you're coming from i think you have to continue with kang Okay. And and recast. And I think it's the easiest thing to do since we're in the multiverse. There's variants. We've seen with Loki. There's old Loki. There's girl Loki. There's kid Loki. There's an alligator Loki. There's a there's <laughs> a black there's a, very, a black guy Loki. There's a very fair point. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. so you could do anything with Kang. And my sense is is like it's hard to rewrite what Disney Plus and Marvel have tried to build upon with Loki. Like that's so important how they did it, how they ended it. And then with Ant-Man, which is kind of, Ant-Man was a dud, but how they introduced it and how they're doing it right now with Loki season two, like Kang, even though he's known as Victor Timely, it's another variant. It's like still crucial to what they're doing. I think you recast, if that's the route they go, you just recast and hope that the character remains larger than the actor who portrayed it before. Kind of like yeah. a Joker. You, it's you got a million Jokers, a million people that have played them, but everyone always gravitates to Heath Ledger's Joker. But we have mm -hmm. a multitude of Jokers out there, so it's like the same thing. It, the actor should never be bigger than the character they're portraying, because anyone can come in there and portray that character. Yeah, in my in my opinion. But that, look that's, at Toby, Robert Downey Jr. Right, those are people that yeah. are. They're, they're the actor is bigger than the character in a sense but like if you if some if you were to walk up to 10 people on the street and say who's spider-man i think you're gonna have a lot of people that say tom holland yeah that's true andrew garfield I, iron true. man's tough because there's only one iron man right now true. and, and kang it's the same way there's only one king but i don't think kang is established as well as tony stark iron man my only and that's why with, i think that would be easier to move away from kang see i think it would be tougher oh. but but and the only reason why I think it would be tougher is not only is Kang been established and it's been a hard, it's been like hard to kind of like through the, the pandemic is what we'll say. The pandemic, you know, mm -hmm. Loki was like the shining spot for a lot of people. WandaVision was like Kang was established. They wanted you to know, even though we were going through something that like, Hey, this is, this is our new big bad. Be ready. And Dr. Doom is, is in the works. But Doctor Doom's not even, he's like rumored not even to be the main villain of his own Fantastic Four movie. Well, remember when he was rumored for Wakanda Forever? Yeah. Too? And that ended up not happening? Yeah, so it's, it's that's tough. I, I, I don't essentially know what you would do. Um, I think recast would be easier. I mean, who knows? Maybe, you know, in November, some new information comes out and Kevin Feige changes King Dynasty to... You know, Doom uh, Dynasty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's possible. Who knows? What's you? You had brought up a good point before we in the original recording um, that you can play with the multiverse. Like that's the yeah, that's the yeah. cool thing. I think that yeah. sways in your it's favor. The, uh, like, I, I think I called it uh, the Marvel Marvel's scapegoat, for, and it's the perfect for allegations. It's, it's the perfect it's the get out of free jail card. It's, there you go. It's the perfect scapegoat. Yeah. It's, and I do agree with you that if he is found not guilty, it is still a hard like road. He's to not coming back even if he's found innocent. Yeah, that's. To, I, uh, It'll be easier for him to book other stuff and slowly rebuild his career. I think. Sure, th that's not to but say. But still, yeah, it's going to be very difficult in, in to come this, back from in that. This, for this franchise, yes, I agree with you. Like yeah. to come back into Hollywood, yeah, he could work his way back, especially if he's not guilty. It's just going to be super hard. It's like a long road. Yeah. I mean, it's I tough would, to say. I right would now. like to sit here and say, I hope that he did not. Of course, that's what we're all yeah, hoping. Like, yeah. But, you know, if he if that's what turns out to be, then bye bye, dude. Yeah, good riddance. It was good while we had you. Um, <laughs>
Yeah, but did you did you add any more to add on the whole Jonathan Majors thing? No, that was uh, it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, like we, we we really don't know until you know this these court hearings. So. And we'll follow up with this topic on a future podcast sure. when yeah. uh, more comes out. Uh, we're not going to ask you your opinion on this because uh, it's a weird. You'll tell us anyway. Yeah, though. yeah. But it's a it's a weirdly touchy subject. Yeah. Um. But we're going to go on to our first of two segments this week. They're going to be super These are fun, super super easy segment for us. Yeah. I was messaging Derek and I said we're Disney daddies. Let's embrace it. This is going to be the Disney daddy segment. Yeah. And I had told Derek, hey, what are uh, five? Let's give our top five Disney characters we would allow to date our son. And then you came back with a better idea. About the top five characters you wouldn't allow to you date. You would your not son. allow to date our sons. And since this is your topic, I would like you to go first. Okay. Who's the first character and why? Okay. So the first character I picked is Meg from Hercules. Oh, okay. She is not to be trusted. <laughs> she is not. And no. we get that from the Hercules movie. Okay. It takes a while for her to warm up and be an ally, but at first, very cold very mean that's so funny i want my son to have the world <laughs> okay <laughs> and i want a good girl by his side um but yeah meg i just she's uh uh she's a she's she's trouble okay and, and you can see that from a mile she's trouble all right i like i like that argument okay you go <laughs> this is mine's completely different let me let me speak on this people before you jump at me my first choice is Anna from Frozen. Oh, why? Because she's not a good judge of character. No, she, she's not. She started dating a villain before quickly going, ew, you're a villain. Let me jump to the next guy. Like, she wears her heart on her sleeve and that could be bad. And uh, yeah, you're, and my son is not a villain. And uh, yep. you are not going to read, kidding. you are not going <laughs> to, yeah, you're not going to read my son wrong, um, Anna, despite having a beautiful voice and being voiced by a Disney mommy. Oh, Kirsten uh, Bell. Disney, Disney Kirsten legend, Bell. Disney legend. Oh yeah. Kirsten we were there Bell. for her ceremony. That was all, that was so all awesome. of the frozen characters. No disrespect to her. Uh, yeah, but Jonathan yeah. Groff. I love you, brother. You yeah. are the best. Um, yeah. So no disrespect to Kristen Bell or even Anna, but you're not dating my son. Yep. There you go. Okay. Next on this list is Jessica rabbit. From, oh, that's so good. That's I did from even, Roger Rabbit. I like that. Pick. And I don't really have to explain it, but it's like Meg. She is trouble. She's not. She not, looks like she would take advantage of everything that my son would have to offer. <laughs> Cheating, <laughs> lying, all that stuff. Playing sure. Playing. She's playing patty cake with other men. Exactly playing patty cake. If you know what we mean. Yeah. No. Um. Like I said, it's just trouble, 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 uh, and he will get his heart broken. She is just and way too advanced for our sons. <laughs> yeah. Way too advanced. Uh, four months old, but you yeah, know yeah. they grow. Yeah, they, yeah, they're gonna be older. We're, we're talking they about grow. when they're older. Yeah, they grow. Um, and some of these characters, when they're older too, guys, come on. A amen. Which is a. I'm glad you preface this because my number two is Darla from Finding Nemo. Darla. The, is she tapping on the glass with the head? Oh, oh my god, dude. I that sorry. It's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying. She she's an animal. Doesn't have good parents. Animal cruelty. She's yeah, she got a dad that can't keep an eye on her. Like, I don't want that around for Thanksgiving. And nope. uh I have you know you know, I have an, a bunch of animals. And uh Levi loves animals. Darla doesn't. Uh and if Levi had a fish, uh he wouldn't want Darla near it. Um just a very annoying little girl. And like, those, I don't know what Pixar was doing there. The braces <laughs> thing. Yeah, the headset. Let's that, hope she has great teeth when she's older. <laughs> need that uh, Finding Nemo 3 to figure that out because we didn't get that in Finding Dory. Yeah. All right, what's your number three? Okay, my next one is Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Oh, my gosh. I got to hear this. So it's not like the previous two. She's not trouble. She's very naive. And I just think that oh she doesn't think about what she does before she does it, which makes her very impulsive. And if we're talking about the uh, original retelling of Alice in Wonderland, she does drugs. <laughs> she takes acid and then she trips out and meets Mr. Rabbit, the Cheshire cat and all the, that stuff. The smoking caterpillar. Yeah, the smoking caterpillar. She's, Get she's, my son away from yeah. that. No drugs. <laughs> drugs, drugs, drugs. Hugs, not drugs. Yeah, hugs, not uh, drugs. Shout out to the... So, I don't trust her. 
<laughs> I don't trust God. her. She just goes off into her wonderland. It, well, I guess it's not her wonderland. It's in wonderland. But how dangerous is that? Do you think I want my son going out there with I agree. The, the queen of hearts chopping everybody's heads off? No. Nuh-uh. Next. <laughs> Passionate words from Derek Cornell. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. My number three is... Uh, for a lot of the same reasons you had brought up with uh, Meg from Hercules, uh, same thing for me is Meg from Hercules. <laughs> you just can't trust her. She's got nice. those. She, you look at her in the very first scene. She's got those like evil eyes. Yeah, she's sly. She's, she's 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 a lot. She's, she's you're bad. Not, you're not gonna seduce my son with your sex appeal. With your <laughs> with your, your kiss me eyes, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> your kiss me eyes. Um. So yeah. I, I I don't need to go into more detail because Meg was on your list. So yeah, I'm the same. I'm I'm right there with you on Meg. Okay, so my fourth pick uh, is comes in the form of Barbie from Toy Story. Oh my god, she an airhead. I don't need. Oh I don't need my son to be. She's oh. the type of girl to call you daddy. <laughs> She's the type of girl to so call you daddy. So what you're saying is you wouldn't allow her to date your son, but you would allow her to date you. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that this girl is going to break my son's heart <laughs> yeah, because sure. she obviously likes older guys. <laughs> <laughs> she wants squeaking. to be taken care of. She wants money. She wants to do all the things that she wants to do. She's very naive. She is. She's just... She just doesn't think about what she says before she says it. I, I guess I just don't like these types of girls. Um, I'm, I, I, yeah. <laughs> She's, however, however, Margot Robbie, Barbie, if you want to date my son, I'm uh, all for uh, it. You come to me first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. My wife will have to just live with it. <laughs> but yeah, Barbie, she's just, uh, my son can do better. Okay. Yeah, such an <laughs> off the wall answer. I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh my god! Ooh, okay, this is uh to me. This is where I'm gonna get a lot of hate. I love the movie. This is the most annoying character I have ever seen in any Disney movie. Just annoying. Don't like her voice. Don't like her attitude. Don't like what she stands for. And that's Vanellope from Wreck It Ralph. Vanellope. Oh, from well, I, first mistake is it's voiced by Sarah, or she's voiced by Sarah Silverman, who is just irritating in her own right. It's it. The voice is just like, hey, you guys want to go race some cars? Like, oh, get Ralph. out, get out. Hey there, Ralph. And I'm just like, hi, Ugh. is Levi home? Nope. <laughs> I, it's wrong house. I, I don't. My son has Dad, where did where did Vanellope she's, go? She, she's from Sugarland or Sugar Rush or whatever that game is. My son has enough cavities, uh, and he plays enough video games. She's very impulsive, um, annoying. Just doesn't I, listen to anybody. I just I couldn't see myself like being proud of my son to marry her. Like it's just not happening. It's just and that her little candy outfit's cute, but you know it. It's not about what you wear. It's your that's that, that's that voice personality it's, oh my god yeah you can be annoying and we just don't like that so, yeah. so sorry vanellope okay and last but not least um skylar said it best i picked darla too oh did you yeah no just yeah not happening no you go <laughs> everything he said times a million <laughs> nope my last one is tinkerbell is she well first of all mm, too small <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Levi's small right now, <laughs> but we're talking about when he's of age. Yeah, I know, but and Tinker Bell's the same size. How's that going to work? <laughs> Love finds ways. I don't know. <laughs> what I, I don't know. Love just, of, of um, f finds a way. She just she's she's controlling and yeah, overly she's kind of a, zealous. She's kind of a a biot. I, sure. I, I was gonna say, um, and I just don't think my son deserves that in his life. He deserves, yeah. uh, deserves. He deserves the best. And now, listen. If I was Tinkerbell size, I would handle Tinkerbell my way. Also, are you cool with him just flying everywhere willy nilly without any protective gear? Well, of course not. Not. not, not <laughs> Woo! It, bye, Dad. We'll see you. F never. No, I'm just like. Oh, yeah. takes her to takes him to Neverland. You never get to see him again. Kidnap, kidnap, kidnapping. Tinkerbell is a villain. Yeah, this is true. 
Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let us uh, know. No, no, don't don't even tell us. I don't want to know. Yeah. I don't want to know. Just, that was just for us. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was our game. However, game number two, it's another top five. We're doing the top five Disney dads. Oh, yeah. So These are me. our favorite dads, so I'll let you take this one first. All right. Number one for me is Pacha from Emperor's New Groove. Oh, nice. He's nice just, pick. He, and it's he's just, so wholesome. He's, yeah, it's exactly. He's sweet. He's friends with a, a llama, which is cool. Um, he his, a talking llama at that, and he has no questions asked. The dead, just takes in a talking llama. Yeah, the Deadpool of uh, the Disney animated world. <laughs> yeah, um, dude. Just a sweet old is no, I wouldn't say old man, but he's just a sweet man, and he loves his wife. Mm-hmm. And he, what a what a king, dude! You're not a king, but you are a king, Pacha. Uh, shout out John Goodman, you rule. Yeah. Okay. Um, I picked probably one of the best Disney dads, Mister Incredible. There you go. Um, he's just uh, I mean, he he kind of takes a character switch in number two. Oh, big time. And that's what really brings dad. it home. You know, I mean, he was doing some shady stuff there uh, with uh, uh, Mirage. Oh, in the first one? In the first one. But oh, yeah. uh, ultimately, he's a big family man. He likes to have his family around. He's not just a single superhero. They're a family unit. And I like how tight-knit they are and how he is, you know, he just looks out for everybody. So That's a good pick. Yeah. This should be the... Most obvious pick. It's Marlon from Finding Nemo. Really goes out of his way for his son, huh? Yeah. But But who wouldn't? Finding Nemo is taken for kids. That's what Finding Nemo is. It's taken for kids. Yeah. I don't know who you are. I will swim there and I will find you and I will kill you. I have a very particular set of skills. I have a particular set of gills. I have a particular set of skills. Dad jokes. Yep. It's it's Marlin. Gills. Oh, uh, that was good. Fish. That was good. Thank yep. You, yep. You. Dad jokes. Certain, Dad I, jokes on the Disney <laughs> Daddy episode. Um, I have a certain particular set of gills. <laughs> Things that's that make good. me a nightmare for fish like you. you. I will find you, and I will kill you. <laughs> yeah. So it's Marlin. Awesome. Uh, my next one is. This one's a no brainer. It's Mufasa. That's a good one. I giving this, giving his. He's just a real, really good at those pep talks, man. I gotta, I gotta, gotta really watch uh, his mannerisms when my son gets older. I need those pep talks uh, down for me to talk to my son. But um, always thinking about the future and thinking about what he will leave his son and the mark. He just wants to make his son a, a the best possible version of himself. And that's, you know, that's what I look uh, for in, in uh, Disney daddies. <laughs> <laughs> and he died for his son. And that's yeah, exactly. heroic. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I, I I would die for my son. Absolutely. 100%. I think we'd all die for our kids. Oh, yeah. Uh, in a heartbeat. For a pack of wildebeest. Um, that's a good pick. <laughs> what a what a way to die, huh? Yeah, pack that of sucks. Wildebeest. Killed all by right. your brother, too. Even salt on the wound. <laughs> Here, I'm going to go uh, on my pick, my number three pick, Pongo from 101 Dalmatians. Not only does he have his own kids, but he was crazy enough to say, let me adopt 88 more of these guys. <laughs> yeah. And that guy's just man, putting it down. Yep. Good for you. Doing it, doing it doggy style. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Um, <laughs> my next pick is... Oscar Proud from the Proud family. Oh, that is a very inspired. He pick. is like just, pick. he is the type of dad that I want to be goofy. For, I like loving, yeah. uh, strict. very energetic. <laughs> strict. <laughs> what? Strict. At, at oh, the, strict. If, if you had a daughter, I guess. Yeah. More strict with Penny. Well, well, I mean, I guess there's the social norm right there versus for Derek. who your kid is, you know, <laughs> You will not date Alice. Get yeah. In there, Theo. <laughs> she does drugs. <laughs> Did Barbie just call you daddy? You're 16. Don't look at the girl <laughs> with the kiss me eyes. <laughs> no, but Oscar Proud is he's a really good dad and he's hilarious. That's a that's a great pick. Yeah. I'm going to I think we can agree on this one. I'm going with Goofy. Goofy movie. Oh yeah. All he dude. wants to yep. do all he wants to do is spend time with his bratty son um who little punk son so Max. naive 
And, and there's kid. Goofy. It's just, just even when his son is just being an a hole to Goofy, the sweetest, one of the sweetest Disney characters of all time. Goofy's still like, I love you, son. I want to be there for you. I want to do this last trip before you go and leave yep. me for Roxanne. Roxanne. Um, all I want to do is party all night. Um, <laughs> it, it's Goofy. Like Goofy's just a loving dad, and he's Goofy. Yep, he's Goofy. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pick probably my favorite Disney dad on my list. Crush. Oh, that's good. Just the most chill dude, bro. But yeah, got, bro. Let's let's just go glide. Let's go see the world. But he does drugs. He doesn't do drugs. He does those turtle drugs, dude? Dude, that <laughs> I dude think he's just high, high on day. life. Yeah, high yeah. on life. Oh, totally. <laughs> yeah. Come on, bang it. What, what, what is he uh, he's like, like noggin. Give me, give me some cool. spin. Noggin, dude. Oh, dude. Yeah, he's tight. You ever do the turtle talk or crush it? I've done it before. I just, I get social anxiety, so I don't want him to pick me. So I don't really, (laughs) I don't really go in there. (laughs) Do you like Ninja Turtles? (laughs) That's me. I'm the same way. I don't want crush to ask me questions. No. Um, Okay. That's why I don't sit front row at comedy shows. Can't do it. Yeah. Oh, oh, no way. I'll die of anxiety. All right. My last Disney daddy is, which I never knew his name until I looked it up is Professor Archimedes Q. Porter. And that's what? Jane's dad in Tarzan. And it's oh. kind of like yours. he's goofy, funny, will support his daughter no matter what she does. He's just there for her. They're like a team. Yep. And I think that's super cool. And he's got an epic old man mustache. And I wish I had enough testosterone to grow just a regular mustache, much less an old man mustache. So. This is this is it for me. This yeah, is you know, it. This tr- is as, this is as full as it gets. Yeah, the, the Disney daddy's <laughs> trying. My son is but... screwed. <laughs> Doesn't have those nice hair follicles on his face. <laughs> we gotta join the the beard club. I guess. Yeah. All right. What's your last one? Uh, my last one. You said it best. Goofy. Oh, you got Goofy on. I your got list Goofy too. on my list. You had a couple. Just uh, all magic. around, just just a good dad. Just good person. And he's funny. He is funny. I dig it. Yep. Let us know who your favorite Disney dad is in the comments of this video. If you do that, we're giving away a prize. So we'll find our favorite comment. Uh, yes. So make sure you do that. Go down in the comments. Right here. It's easy. You can win something. It's free. It's free. And we pick, pick your shipping. favorite Disney daddy. Could be one of us too. Um... And tell us why. That's it. Get a free gift. Yeah. From your boys. The I Disney mean, Daddy. last last week we had 20 comments and two of them were for, <laughs> for, the, for the question. For the question. The, and then the, a lot of others were calling us woke middle-aged men. Yeah, whatever. So we don't give it to. We don't give a to. That was yeah. the last one we promised. That was the last one. We uh, don't want to get sued by that guy. Uh, yeah, so make sure you drop it down in the comments. But we have one more segment. You love it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> It's time for the rumor of the week. Week, 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 Okay. Last week, we gave you a fun Disney live action remake scoop, and I'm staying in the Disney live action game. And I'm telling you right now with good authority that the project that has the most progress in coming out, but besides Pirates of the Caribbean, Tower of Terror, and Haunted Mansion, is an it's a small world live action. Movie. No way. So, so enjoy kids and parents who love that song, uh, stuck in your head forever. It's a small world after all. Yep, you're good to leave the theater with that in your head for four days. A live action, Congratulations. A live action remake. It's been in the works for a long time, but they have moved forward. There's a, there's a, a new writer that was tapped pre-strikes to write the script, mm-hmm. um, which we'll probably reveal the name in an exclusive on the website. But you're going to see It's a Small World come into theater sooner rather than later. Awesome. Whether or not you like that or not is uh, up for you guys to debate at home. Yep. <laughs> but in the meantime, don't forget to... Or sh- debate it in the comments. We don't care. We don't give a toot. Yeah. All right, last time. Yeah. We don't give a toot. We don't give a toot. Um, okay. <clears throat> don't forget to check out the stories that we did not talk about. At the DizInsider.com, so you're caught up with all the news from the Walt Disney Company. Yep. Follow us on social media, as always. Follow us on TikTok. We're posting more on TikTok. Uh-huh. Check out News from the Castle podcast. Check out Walt's Apartment podcast. Check out Boardwalk Times 
dot store the Diz Insider 10 for 10% off your purchase of cool Disney inspired merch. And uh, aside from that, did you have anything you want to close out the show with? Follow me at Derek Cornell on X. Follow him at Skylar Schuler on X. And aside from and aside from that, uh, um, producer, yes, play me that sweet sweet outro music, baby. And a, a one, a, a two, a three, a, three, a four, four, a five. five. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.